Good morning and welcome to Delicious by Debbie. And I decided this morning, I am so hungry for omelet muffins that I used to make. And so I thought I would just have you here with me when I make them. Uh, this is something I like to have on hand and in the morning before I go to work even, I can pop one in the microwave, warm it up. I've even headed out the door with them wrapped in a napkin so that I could eat them in the car because I didn't get up early enough to fix them. So I'm going to show you how I do that. This recipe will make 12. I have my oven preheated to 350 already and I have my muffin pan all sprayed. It's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm going to make the egg mixture and that takes eight eggs. So I will go ahead and get eight eggs cracked. I do like to put each egg into a bowl first to make sure I don't get any shells or that make sure all the eggs are good. So it just it takes just a second or two longer, but at least I'm sure that there are no nothing worse than getting an egg shell in your eggs. And I was at McDonald's here a couple weeks ago and my husband ordered me an egg McMuffin. And when I bit into it, there was the biggest chunk of shell. I picked it out, it was huge. I could not eat anymore. I was, it like nauseated me. Okay, almost there. All right, there's our eight eggs. And to the eggs, I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So I've got a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm not putting any more than that in it because the meat that we're going to use in these muffins, omelets, are it, there's plenty of meat and some of it's kind of salty. So a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And half of a teaspoon of baking powder. A fourth of a cup of milk, and I'm using half and half. And I need a fourth of a cup. I'm gonna whisk that all up together. I wanted a little bit of my herbs de Provence also. So I'm gonna use just a fourth, oh, just about, well, I've got my fourth of a teaspoon in there because that spilled on me. So I've already got my fourth of a teaspoon in there, maybe a tiny bit more, so I'm gonna take some of it out. Don't want too much of that, but I do want the flavor of it. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it did, but that's okay. So I'm gonna whisk up these eggs, milk, the seasonings. As you can see, that's all whisked up nicely together. And now I'm going to clean up my mess where my herbs de Provence decided to spill. All right, we're back in business again. I did want to put half of a teaspoon of minced onions. You could use fresh. If I had fresh green onions from the garden, that's exactly what I would be using, but I don't. So I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of the minced dried onions in there also. Whisk that in with the milk and half and half of eggs and seasonings. And then we're gonna set that aside. We're not ready for that yet. All right, now we're gonna get our muffin tin here. And you can make these with any kind of meat you want to. I have some ham chunks that I thawed out. I have bacon bits and I have some cooked crumbled sausage. So I'm gonna make three different kinds. So 
But I'm gonna put some ham in some of them. We'll do four of each kind. We'll do ham in that one, ham in these four, bacon bits in these, No matter how you make these, they're good, and you can put about any kind of meat in them you want to. And let's put some sausage in these four. All right, there we have it. Meat in each one of them ham, bacon bits, and sausage. Now I'm going to do our cheese now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here with the eggs. I need a cup of the shredded cheddar. And I could use, it calls for a cup and a half, the recipe I make. And I could use a cup and a half of cheddar, but I also want some Parmesan in it. So I'm going to put a half of a cup of Parmesan for my rest of my cheese. There you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that all in. So now our cheese is also mixed in. And the next thing we're gonna do is fill our muffin tins and put this all in the oven. I have a third cup measuring cup here. I don't know that each of these holes will take a third of a cup. You fill them about two thirds to three fourths full and they will puff up. They've got that little bit of baking powder in them which helps them to kind of puff up a little bit. If I have too much egg mixture here for my, all muffin tins seem to be, my mother-in-law, I wish I had her big ones that she used to have. I never saw such big muffin tins and she would make the biggest muffins with them. Mine aren't as big as hers were. I think we're gonna be just about right. Well, now that could not have come out any better. The only thing I think I will do is take a little bit out of this one that's too full, put it into this last one that didn't get quite as much. All right, I'm gonna wipe off some of my drippings so they don't burn on there. All right, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of cheddar cheese on the top of each one. Now, if you were doing this for Weight Watchers, you could just use skim milk. You wouldn't have to use as much cheese. All of my, my meats were very lean. Even my bacon bits that I get from Sam's Club are very lean. Sounds funny to say that bacon is lean, but the bacon bits, however they do them, are. My ham was very lean. All right, these are ready for the oven and they bake for 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll come back in about 20 minutes. And there are our beautiful egg muffins. And as soon as they cool enough that I can get them out of the pans, we'll try one. Here's my muffins all out of the oven. I have them cooling here on a wire rack and I have one ready to eat. I'm gonna go ahead. This one happens to be a ham one. I can't really tell which is which once they're baked, but this is the ham one. You can see the chunks of ham. And that is delicious.
like I said, you can make these ahead. You can freeze them. You can just put them in the refrigerator, warm them up in the microwave, but they, and then you can even put them in a lunch.